So here we have 11.6, writing and evaluating a function, modeling continuous exponential growth or decay given the double time or the half-life. So it says a mass of a substance which follows a continuous exponential growth model is being studied in the lab. The doubling time for this substance was observed to be 11 minutes, where 47.2 milligrams of the substance present at the beginning of the study. So if that's how much is present at the beginning of the study, that is the P. And then I already know that the doubling time is this, is doubling time is 11 minutes. So that means when the A equals two times the P, that happens when the T is equal to 11 minutes, okay? And what is two times the P? 47.2 times two. So in 11 minutes, A will equal 94.4, okay? It says A, let T be the time in minutes since the beginning of the study and let Y be the amount of the substance at time T. Write a formula relating Y to T. So they wanna know the rate and they wanna know the initial amount. Now we already know the initial amount, that's 47.2. But in order for me to find the rate, I'm gonna to have to use this information that they gave me, okay? So if I plug everything in, then I'm gonna have A equals P E to the R times T, and after 11 minutes, that's when I get 94.4. So if I divide by 47.2, I'm gonna get that two because it's doubled, right? And here I have 11R. So if I switch the form over, I'm gonna get log base E of two equal to 11R, or ln of two equal to 11R, or ln of two over 11 equal R ln of 2 over 11 is 0 0.0630 uh, It doesn't say how many decimal places it wants me to round to. Uh, normally it would say, it may have said it, I just didn't write it down. But this is the decimal that would go into that um, exponent right there. If they don't allow you to round, if it doesn't say anything about rounding, then you wanna type the exact answer in that parentheses, okay? So if it does say to round, take the decimal version and round it. If it does not say anything about rounding, then make sure you put the exact answer in that parentheses. Then it says how much will be present in five minutes, round to the nearest tenth. So I'm gonna take that formula um, and I'm gonna use the decimal. And the time would be five minutes, okay? So I'm gonna take 47.2 E raised to the, I'm gonna put that decimal times five. And I get 64.2 seven, round to the tenth. So 64.7 milligrams will be present. 